Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, to another episode of Sunday Best uh, with the two tea bags. Myself, Isuru Jinasena, and my fellow comedian host, Gavin yeah, Kelly. What up, bro? Episode 17. 17, bro. man. <laughs> we're almost in the adult phase. 17. You when know that, what I mean. You know, in that in between. Isn't there a song by Kings of Leon called Ooh, She's Only 17? <laughs> Kings of Leon, wasn't that? Oh, my sex is on fire. Yeah, well, not kind of like that, but it's similar. That's the name of the song. Wasn't that about herpes? Was it? I think it was about uh, STDs. Yeah. Oh, is it? Shit, I just thought it was about sex and hell. There was also a song by Music Soul Child called Seventeen. Music Soul Child. Well, I think not. he's performing in South Africa. He is, bro. bro. We <laughs> saw, we saw a poster of uh, <laughs> yeah, like my girl and I. We saw, but with somebody else. We are with uh, what's her name, Veronica. Hmm. Is it Veronica? When I don't know who that is. Yeah. I don't know who that is, but she's one of these old R and B musicians. I'm sure you boomers know about her. Yeah, man. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go to Music Soul Child? I would like to. I used to listen to a lot of Music Soul Child when I was oh, in really? past. Yeah, yeah man. It's hardcore into my soul, soul and R and B, man. man. I actually like my soul and R and B, man. Like, like I want to see. I, I I would love to see like Maxwell. I'd love to see like Ari Lennox. I'd love to see you know this D'Angelo. D'Angelo, well, not D'Angelo, not so much. How does it there's not many D'Angelo songs that I know. <laughs> that one, right? Yeah, exactly. And also, yeah. I don't want to be seeing that V. <laughs> it feels like it's giving me insecurity. In How was that episode of Atlanta, bro, with, with D'Angelo? Oh yes, Yo, like, D'Angelo is a mind state, bro. Like it's yes, your that. Episode was trippy as usual, Dude, and was that that wasn't the real D'Angelo though? But they were just dissing him. Yeah, though it was like a very clever, very, very, very clever, weird episode of uh, Atlanta. Yeah, but uh, speaking of good entertainment, I uh, recently watched uh, Spider Man, and that blew my mind. Oh, it was so much fun. It was just like it's a fun, fun huh? movie. Yeah. It's a trip, bro. Yeah, the, it's a fucking trip because of the animation. It's like yours. It's like this crazy art of action and like oh yeah just simply also because you've never seen anything like it before i mean besides the first one obviously but like just that experience <laughs> but they did well like i like spider spider punk it's funny eh? yeah it's a metaphor for capitalism <laughs> the guy was uh, voiced by what daniel daniel kaluuya yes and um get out this guy voiced um spider-man 2099 um the dude oh, from Isaac, Dark Knight. Isaac, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar yeah. Isaac. That guy's played a Marvel character in the Sony universe, the Fox universe, and the Disney universe. Damn. He's a Marvel whore. He's marvelous. <laughs> Making his money. Yo, bro. Dude. Getting that, he's uh, a damn good actor, though. That, yeah, he's, he's fire. That's, um, what was that? <clears throat> With the mask? What was that one, bro? The Dark Knight. Yes. No, hey. not Dark Knight. Uh, Moon Knight. <laughs> Dark Knight is with Batman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he, yes, so quickly, bro. Uh, you're talking about Christopher Nolan's you. He killed it, bro. I really enjoyed him in that uh that uh that series. It was fire. Yeah, he was fucking crazy. Yeah, man. Christopher Nolan's coming out with Oppenheimer now, eh? Ish, yeah, no. And apparently you have to do like some sort of studying before you go watch it. Jesus. The sun must be setting at like three o'clock angle and you have to pray three times and you have to wear your watch on your right hand, and Yo, uh, there's movie. so many prerequisites for that movie. It's gonna be three hours long, and the music's oh. gonna be really loud. The audio's gonna be <laughs> shit. Don't even hear what they're saying. Like Tenet, you can make you more confused. <laughs> like I can't hear the plot, and I'm still confused. And then if and if you like comment on Christopher Nolan's, because you don't get it, man. You don't get it. <laughs> That's what Christopher Nolan fans say. You just don't get it, bro. Yeah, no, dude. Yo, but that uh, Spider-Man was ten out of ten, bro. Dude, I think it's ranked in the, I think top ten movies or, it's breaking records and all sorts at the moment. It's such a fun movie, dude. Like you just like to watch. You can watch that. And how crazy movie. was that twist? Ah uh, yes, uh, he's, he's the. They don't spoil. I guess we can't the, spoil it now. <laughs> he's the prowler. Yeah, like he's a prowler in, in, the, in the universe. In the alternate universe, <clears throat> he's a, he's an anomaly. Anomaly, yeah. <laughs> anomaly, it's a tough one. Anomalies. <laughs> an Yo, anomaly. What if you're an anomaly in your multiverse story, bruh? Shit. Maybe you like my toes. To <laughs> maybe I wasn't supposed to lose my toes. <laughs> maybe you weren't supposed to be a comedian. Yo. Everything Yo, dude. You're the only comedian. 
in all the multiverses. I wonder if I'm a comedian in other in other universes. universes. Yeah, that would be interesting. I hope not. Imagine you go to another universe and you're just a shit comedian, just dying on stage, just disillusioned. Speaking of comedy, did you do? How was it this week? Did you? I did a nice yeah. gig. I did uh this one in Rosebank. It was in the shopping mall, but it's a place called Omen. But like, it's it's nice, but it's also it's a bit of a restaurant gig. But it was fun. I saw oh, chocolate. I was performing with chocolate. That was restaurant great. gigs must be those are always tough, bro. I was yeah. Nice. A waiter literally came while you were performing, in my, like in front of me. And did you speak to the waiter or address? I was like. <laughs> I just literally did this. I was like, be like, no tip for you. <laughs> You're not getting a tip. You want a tip? A suggestion? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way while I tell these jokes. Like, yeah. Don't disturb the performer. No, bro. I don't hate because obviously he's just grinding as well, bro. Yeah. It is what it is. I'm doing a Soweto Comedy Fest, bro. Nice, bro. Yeah, that gonna should be fun. fun. Isn't that in a the theater? That is in a the theater, bro. I'm so excited, bro. That's fun, dude. That's the last time I did that theater was Newcomer Showcase. That's so much fun, dude. And that theater is nice, bro. Mm. I'm excited. I just hope it's not empty. When is it? Uh, on the 27th of June. 27th of June, ladies and gentlemen. You can Come to Soweto food. Theater, guys. It's 250 a pop. It's quite Yee, expensive. Yeah, yeah. it's far. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm worth it. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you can just watch it for free well, every Sunday. Watch it on Sunday, just subscribe. and, and that's, that's, <laughs> Like, That's share. also not bad. You'll see the same jokes. Actually, you won't. Because this is all improv. This is off the cuff, man. We have yes, no idea what's going on in the news. We shake things up here, man. And speaking of shaking things up, <laughs> residents likely to feel aftershocks of earthquake. I don't know if you'd call this an earthquake if our old mines start collapsing. Is that really an earthquake? It, it made the earth shake. Then it should be an earth shake. <laughs> Not an earthquake. Yeah. Earthquake. Yo, bro, I, I don't know. I just know. Dude, I know. All, mm. I, all I know is I was sleeping and I live in the West Rand, so. Yeah, you were on the other, other side, Yeah, no, now, now is a good time when Ruda puts it too far. Hmm? Now say it. You guys are shaking out there. Uh, shit, man. I just know South Africa doesn't need your an earthquake. We don't need a natural disaster. We are yeah, already we have corruption. A, yeah, we are already a state of disaster. Yo, <laughs> our president is shaking things up. You know? Yo, you don't know if it's an earthquake or fucking Tabo Vesta trying to escape prison again. <laughs> oh, you don't know if it's Vin Diesel hitting his knee to the floor. Like, superpowers. These superpowers and Fast and the Furious. <laughs> yeah, was, this, uh, wasn't it like 5.7 on the Richter scale? What is the Richter scale? Can you measure dick with Richter scale, bro? <laughs> what is your dick on the Richter scale? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> Well, it, I think you can measure dick on a Richter scale depending on how well the girl shakes during her orgasm. If the bed and her shake, then you can measure it on the Richter scale. Then you can measure it. It's called it. the Richter scale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good invention, bro. Dick to scale. The Richter scale. Mm, yeah, measure your dicks. Just for your ego, man. Just to Shit, know what, so is this what, the, the damage from... Oh, no, it's man. It's like somebody's townhouse. It's just... This is Bowen Properties. <laughs> then you must get body corporate to get uh, get it fixed. Yeah, so you said it was measured. It was four point four actually. Oh, okay, I exaggerated. Yeah, but um, yeah. So the, in this article, they say that it's not an earthquake because a nat uh, an, uh, like a the classical definition of an earthquake is when uh, two plates have friction and that vibration transfers throughout the the crust of the earth and that's how you get an earthquake oh yeah you know or even by a volcano when the two plates are shifting and the vibration and that vibration of the earth sends an earthquake oh, but but if old infrastructure is failing can't call it an earthquake guys just another day in South Africa, yeah, just, <laughs> just call this the cause of apartheid or colonization that's what it is this is the colonial effects mining the mining of the mines have fucked up the, the... They should call it mine quakes, I think, maybe. Yeah. Catch it. Yeah, yeah I guess, quake. because you get games like Quake and you get Minecraft. <laughs> can't call it mine quake. Mine quake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, bro. Yo, what natural disasters think is the best one for South Africa? The best? Yeah. As in the one that we would least want. I think or, tsunamis are fine. 
and wipe all those coastlines out with all that Neisner privilege. Yeah, we can get rid of Durban, Neisner, even the, the Clifton Beach. We all can, off. <laughs> we can do a nice like tsunami. A nice, res- a nice reset of the coastline and then we can come and get the property. Yeah. Because you guys were stealing it from <laughs> God knows when. Probably if they come back, yeah, bro, to center of uh, South Africa, locked land. Yeah. Landlocked. Yeah, I think the tsunami is probably the best that we could. I think a twister would be dope, dude. Nah, bro. Have you had those twisters? They, they don't put enough mayo in them. And... A flood. We've had floods, eh? Mm. We've had mm. floods and... I mean, the, the Durban floods, remember that? Where the whole Toyota plant was Shit, fucked. yeah. Then we had floods in, in like, Gauteng as well. Remember that time? People were standing on top of trucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was a real thing. I remember having to drive through. Shit, and I was like, I'm not going to, I shouldn't go to work because otherwise I'm going to be stranded, man. Mm. Oh, shit, bro. Uh, yeah, earthquake, I don't know, man. Earthquake is probably also, it would be pretty hectic, bro. All the... All the buildings and stuff fucking collapsing. I think the worst to have is like a hurricane. Have you ever watched that thing called Storm Chases on Netflix? Mm-mm. Hurricane, what is that? Is this like, isn't that wind? It's like ridiculous wind that blows off roofs and have people like, oh shit. It destroys suburbs, bro. Like, snap. I was watching this thing called uh, Storm Chases on Netflix where guys go and follow tornadoes and hurricanes. Oh, that sounds and, like fun, bro. No, dude. It's scary as shit. That's some white people shit. That's why it says fun. That's why it's scary. It doesn't sound like fun. It's no oh, way, dude. People have lost their time. lives trying to, to to get footage of all that. Snap, bro. Imagine dying because... Or like cars getting off the ground. Is it so Yeah, hectic? isn't cars flying, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, that's hectic. Yeah, that's apocalyptic. Yeah, dude. Mm. I mean, there was even a video of this lady. She, she was crying about her dog. And like while they were interviewing her, this do- the dog just comes through the rubble underneath. And she's like, oh, my dog. <laughs> it was so funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. It's unbelievable, man. Hurricane. Hurricanes. What do we call South African hurricane? Hurricane Tabo. Hurricane Bester. If we had a hurricane in South Africa, we call it Hurricane Bester. Hurricane Zuma. Those, mm. are the, yeah, those are the ones that have uh, different names all the time, man. Right? The hurricanes, yeah. Oh, snap. If Katrina, I know Katrina is the most famous Katrina, one. Yeah, Isn't America. there a Karen? <laughs> there has to be a Karen, it's probably the worst. In Karen, also, on that storm chase thing, those was, was also things about volcanoes, but like people who live at the bottom of a, of a live volcano that's intense, bro. They because showed like a town that was wiped out from all the like magma and ash, like ah. Uh, Yo, imagine being scorched alive through that thing, doing breathing in all that ash. Oh my gosh, bro! Yeah, volcano because that's heat. You're melting. It's slow. It's ash in the oh, air. You can't get like can't see. Can't see. Can't breathe. Yo, sure, bro. There's also avalanches. But I prefer like a, a McFlurry. <laughs> <laughs> I was setting you up. I was waiting for it. I was like, okay, here we go. Here we go. And Avalanche was a good, man, that was a good ice cream, man. <laughs> so sad. That's gone. We should do our recording here, yeah? In the cell phone, right? You you, did you, yeah, just make sure, bro, because we've started gags and everything. Woo, I think those. Thank the Lord. Yeah, the short term memory wasn't it's not like it used to be. <coughs> yeah. Um, so I think we're all shook, shook up. We shook. And speaking of things that are shook, or some people who are shook, high school rugby bro, parents could not accept that black team won. Ish. Yo. Another day in South Africa. Yo, yo, yo. How much did they beat this uh this obviously Rusko Rasmus? Yeah, who school Erasmus got trashed. They didn't even give, give the score, I think. It was just a rugby match in the Zio Academy versus... Uh, Zio Academy yeah. versus who school Erasmus. Yeah. And it turned into a brawl with the parents. And it seems that racial slurs were thrown around. There was a K-word. Mm. Then obviously, wherever the K-word, the EFF is there. 
The EFF is like, did somebody say the K word? Say the K word. <laughs> the fur and the EFF. <laughs> 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 Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Candy with a K. Candy with a K, bro. It's so funny. Oh my god. Uh, another testimony of one of the players from Zaya, Vangile Msiza, accused the parents from harassment of instigating the violence because the team had lost against a black team. Yo. So they couldn't accept it. But like, so when Sia Kulisi lifted the trophy, <laughs> how did these guys feel? Yo. Did they throw stuff at the TV? You know? Oh, when the Springboks lose to the All Blacks. Yo! Jesus. <laughs> that must be hell, bro. Yeah, that must be yes. Yo. Wow, eh? Your prejudice must be rooted in deep within you, bro. Yeah, dude, if you can't even accept. So how it started is that we wanted to celebrate for the win with our children, but the next thing we saw fist flying, a white parent hit a colored boy in the face. And his mother retaliated by hitting the white parent on the back with her fist. Yeah. Wow. That's when K words were thrown around. When we got got out to travel back to Pretoria, we were told not to celebrate because we were making noise. Uh, this is a movie, dude. The mother said it was not the first time she had received reports such as this from her, from her son. Under 16. And Shit, bro. Yo, I guess. Yo, the rematch is going to be fast. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I guess there's a rivalry now, eh? Yeah. It's going to be on the Vasti Shield or Hur School Shield. What do we call these high school rugby tournaments? I don't know. Hur School. Don't they, have, <laughs> don't they have it with uh, what's those schools like Kez and Park Town and all these? It's like a Varsity Cup thing, isn't it? No, it's called some school's rugby festival or something like oh, that. Oh, I, I, know, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You know I don't talking know the about, name, huh? man. Oh. One of these eggs get your spits. The rag is, eh? Yes, you do. The rag is fests. SAPS is Jonas Mokwena said, we urge people to report cases like this to the police. There was no case that was reported to me. The police don't have a problem with political parties, NGOs, or any other organization coming to engage the school, but they have to do that through an appointment because it's a school. For example, now it has exams and they can disrupt the learners during exams. Yeah, I imagine you're writing your calculus exam and you're seeing, we're watching through the window and you're seeing a rugby brawl, bro. Oh. Uh, if a rugby team has 16 players, <laughs> how many parents does it take to moor the other parents? <laughs> <laughs> what score must the black team get for the parents, <laughs> the parents to get team. angry enough to mur alas <laughs> Amel. Uh, yes. I wonder if the other team had like at least maybe one black guy in the <laughs> team. You think you go to school Erasmus <laughs> like maybe had like a black player? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I doubt it, bro. I think the only black person in this school <laughs> is Grand Staff. I'm telling you, bro. It's grown stuff, bro. I'm not even fucking around. Dude. Yo. Yo, you know what I've been watching recently, bro? Yizo, Yizo. Yizo, Yizo, Papa Action. Yo, that shit is lit, bro. It's a good show. It's, it is intense, bro. Damn, that's when South African writing was at peak. Yeah, they went in, bro. It doesn't look like they were unafraid to tell the story. Yeah, dude, they used to push boundaries now. Yeah. They, now it's all about... Young, rich, and African sitting at restaurants <laughs> no, talking about getting the bag. What's the name? Uh, I even roasted a man, Kelly Kumalo. No, not Kelly Kumalo. Kanyan Bao. Kanyan Bao. Live her life in Dubai. Yeah, with her gloves on because doesn't mean, she doesn't want to show the complexion between her face and her hand. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> That's why she wears white gloves. Uh, <laughs> yo, bro, I want to write this movie, dude. I don't know what happens next, though. How do the white parents find redemption, bro? How would you start this movie? Would you start it as a high school kid? From which side would you start it from? I the, think you should start it from... POV. The point of view. From the ref. <laughs> from the ground stuff. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah. The scorekeeper. You see, I wonder how Erasmus felt. Let's see. Yeah, I know, dude. I, just, I wonder if there's any, like, uh, redemption in the story because that's pretty embarrassing. Have you ever played any sport, like, when you were younger where parents started fighting? No, nah, I'd never got that deep. I've never seen that in my, with my own two eyes. But I can imagine it happening. Because I, mean, I remember playing provincial cricket and there were these parents who was funding 
team, you know, with track suits and all of that, and you see them getting angry when the child isn't picked or isn't batting it. Oh, okay. The batting and stuff like that. That's <laughs> <laughs> Match fixing. Yeah, dude. And us broke as, you know, quota boys. <laughs> we were just there, but number 11. Just go for the tour, get our track suit. Get our school, high school colors. So funny. <laughs> oh, these just for are, vibes, bro. Just for I'm vibes, for bro. Vibes. <laughs> just for vibes. Yeah, remember that thing about my guy and Itini? He, to, like, he, he preferred to walk. Yeah, to that was stadium, sad, bro. Instead of catch the bus for those white uh, dude, I, 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 Dude, I was empathizing because I know exactly how that feels. Like, especially players of color. We used to all be in the corner and these guys are going to do their own thing and go watch movies together. Yeah, no, I remember playing cricket. That those those white dudes, yeah, they're a different breed, bro. Yeah. Um, oh, so they leave you out also? Yeah. They're like this one, no. This one is this one is not one of us. Impasta. <laughs> <laughs> like this one is the black sheep of the whites. Yeah. You that know? was the first, and the second team was lit because it was, it was a mixed nicely team. balanced. Yeah. Mixed. yeah. So it was an Indian guy, colored guy, yeah. black yeah. guy, me, the vibes, bro. The vibes, but. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, man. Eh? Yes. I guess uh, racism won. Yeah, that's sad, bro. It's actually sad in South Africa that this is still going on. Like, it's so still sad. That's why I want redemption, bro. I want them to 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 forgive. But obviously, so who did the parents? So the parents beat the other parents up. Yeah, so it looks like it started off by getting angry at the ref, and then the opposing team celebrated too hard. And then, yeah, we were zealous. Yeah, I don't know what they were. Maybe they were eating cabbage and <laughs> holding Bibles and dancing, like a PSL hey, guy. Let some guy had a Bluetooth like, speaker. This is not PHL, okay? <laughs> it must have been lit, bro, because they were obviously the underdogs. Who the? No, obviously uh, Erasmus wasn't. You think whole school Erasmus was the underdogs? No, that was the black team. Or the Zion Zio yeah, Academy. Yeah, Zion Academy. From Zion. Zion Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see? Uh, what's that? They won the NBA. Uh, what's his name? Dude, Jokic. Jokic is Mari, bro. And then he lost his MVP trophy. He says he put it in the manager's office and now it's gone. <laughs> Someone tag that MVP trophy, bro. Yo, bro. Nobody respects that man. It's so funny. And he's so I, I, dope. I don't like the way people are looking at him like he's a joke, dude. This guy. Yeah, this guy's like a legend now, bro. Dude, the, you know what the thing is? I think Americans are not used to an all stop, like a, a top athlete, not being humble. They're yeah, used yeah, to yeah. arrogant, egotistical sports guys. Like you look at LeBron's and the Jordans, and yeah. these guys are all like, yeah, I'm the baddest motherfucker mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody touched me. Jockey just like, no, I want to go home. I just want to party with my family. You know? <laughs> He's got no arrogance got about no him. arrogance about him, dude. Yeah, He's yeah. one of these Eastern European guys. Simple. Does simple his guy. Job. Just, it's a, he always talks about team and how it's a team sport. And I realize like, like American media likes to single out certain players and make them seem like they're the heroes. Like the, what's it? The Brady, what's that guy? John Brady. Or the Tom Brady. Tom Brady. I don't know that guy. Wayne Gretzky. Uh, they yes. like to do this. One uh, Lionel Messi, they're doing it now with him going to MLS. They're doing this thing of this one player. He's the goat. You know, he's the greatest. You know, nobody else matters. <laughs> Guys, it's a team sport. It's not <laughs> tennis or golf. I it literally un- is a team sport. Yeah, dude. I can understand yeah. for tennis and golf. You know, we hype them up like that. Yeah, Joe so Djokovic, 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 hey, Djokovic, Djokovic, bro. Oh, he shit, did Djokovic win the, the French Open as well? Kane, bro. Hey, these Serbians are fucking shit. Ah, Djokovic is Serbian. Djokovic is Serbian. It is bad, bad. Oh, I want to go. Jokos. To... They don't fuck around <laughs> the Djokovic, eh? I want to go to Serbia, see what's popping, bro. Yeah, mm. dude, what's going on in there, bro? Like, mm. we want to go raise our kids to play tennis and basketball. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or bas- <laughs> they must play basketball with tennis balls. <laughs> That's how they do it. There. Start fights at their games. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> be surprised why why are Serbians winning (laughs) anyway so from uh, bad fathers to worse fathers watch dad fakes his own death to teach his family a lesson yo you're gonna learn today dude I mean this is childish Uh, wait how do we oh fuck we can't uh, watch it it says watch but (laughs) it should be a link in the thing just try again go down they they are click on the TikTok link the at the at like no. 
Oh, you got it. Oh, that thing. <laughs> Yo, bro, this guy must have felt neglected to kill himself, fake, but to to fake kill himself, eh? Dude, this is mm. in, in Belgium. Like, what the fuck, dude? Isn't like, this fraud as well? Can't this has to be fraud, bro. You have to get arrested for this. Mm. I mean, imagine that after tears, you're like, ah. I wasted this alcohol. I will have my best suit for this, Mampara. But also, mm. like, what are these guys wearing at this funeral? Shit, bruh. It came back in a in a, in a copper, chopper. In a chopper. Mm. That's gangster, dude. Let's see. What is the Iron Man? That kid can't Well, clearly he needs to iron out his issues. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. That's deep, eh? That's manipulation on another level, bruh. This dude. guy's gaslighting from the afterlife. Imagine, bruh. Like, how much of a narc do you have to be to want to watch people at your funeral. And then he just walks in casually. Everybody's happy. No, that's deep, bro. And now, do you still pay F-Bob? That's another yeah. thing, dude. Like, Do you get your deposits back? Imagine the guys who are digging the... <laughs> with the spades and like, ah. And then... We, we took the soil out for nothing. So, what did he die of, bro? Oh, yeah, that's he, true. In his life. And then they... Did they not see the dead body just to confirm before they got a she funeral? She autopsies. Mm. Doctors would declare it. <laughs> but apparently the whole family was involved and it was just to teach the rest of the family to take things for, you know, don't take things for granted. The, the, okay, cool. Like the core family. Yeah, the core family. And you know, like the cousins and shit are getting punched. Yeah. Grandparents. People who married into the family. I'm sure maybe maybe he did it to see who wants his riches, bro. Oh shit, bro. To see if people are trying to steal the Some money. Godfather shit, bro. Yeah. Yo, bro. Imagine like somebody famous did that, like Tupac. Oh dude, imagine seeing Tupac coming. Imagine so aka this funeral coming Yo. down, bro. That would be fucking lit. Yes, bro. Talk about legendary, bro. Yo, imagine mm-hmm. AKA comes back and he's like, guys, that wasn't me that got shot. It was, it was Elton. <laughs> My new album's dropping this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Kanye West shit, dude. So, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's me and Nadia Nakai's mm-hmm. moved on. Like, ah, and then, babes. <laughs> She's with uh, Shane Eagle already. Shane Eagle. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. <laughs> Move on to Shane Eagle. You went from Conan to Shane. Yeah, so anyway, here it says... See, these are the speeches people are giving you. Why is life so unfair? Why you? You were going to be a grandfather and you still had your whole life ahead of you. I love you. We love you. We'll never forget you. Yo, so they had to do a speech. So while friends and family waited for his final send-off, they were astonished at the sight of a helicopter landing. The camera crew exited the aircraft. Yo, the funeral speech. That's a tough one, eh? Have you ever done that? Oh, no, dude. I've never said anything at a funeral. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's a tough gig, bro. That's a tough one, eh? Yo. Have you ever watched um, Death at a Funeral? Yes. Which one? The British one or the American one? American one's my favorite. Ah! Oh, what is wrong with people, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brit- the British one is the original one. The ring has got it's like Kevin saying, Hart, Chris Rock, oh, Tracy dude. Morgan. Come fight, on, fair, 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 fair. And they kill it. They, 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 they do the thing, bro. Dude, but British comedy is so good, man. Uh, yeah, it's it slaps, but like because like when you Chris watch Rock, bro, the, the British Death at a Funeral, it doesn't. There's a bit of it feels genuine, whereas the American one, it just feels like they're doing a gimmick. I I like the white guy in that movie as well. We, 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 the one that started tripping balls. When in the take, American one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hate that dude, bro. The guy was in Sonic. Yes. <laughs> He's Cyclops. Cyclops! We don't, even, we don't even know his name, dude. We don't even know. No, no idea. He's like the a, guy from X-Men. The guy from this. Imagine, <laughs> imagine me an actor like that. The guy from here. Poor man's Leonardo DiCaprio. Is that what he is? I think of him as more of a disfigured James Franco. Chris Evans? He's got a Chris Evans vibe. Nah, it's more of a James Franco, like a 
less likable James Franco. Yeah, hey man. Cyclops. Cyclops, bro. Cyclops. Anyway. Yeah, shit, man. So should we bury this in the hatches? Yeah, fuck this. This narcissist is bad for manipulating his yeah, family, bro. It's such a. This is, I, I, I mean, he's doing things like this. Like it's like. A, what happens when he dies now? Be like, ah, fool me once. Fool <laughs> <laughs> me. Shame on me. Shame on you. Shame. Imagine, dude. Uh, We're not falling for that trick again. Imagine there's like shame, two people shame, at shame. his actual funeral. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you see. <laughs> you can't even be. You can't even be here to see. But like, what a flop. Yeah, dude, yeah. Be careful, bro. Don't cry wolf. You know, it's such a bad habit lying to people. Anyway, speaking of bad habits, Paul, what is a bad habit you can't stand? Yo, bro, this is... A, Before we look at the list, let's just talk off the top. What sort of bad habits do you have? Um, I don't like people who fart. You don't like people who fart? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad habit, bro. So you don't like people fart in public? Oh shit! Yeah. Dude, I didn't know that, dude. I would stop farting then. No, I man. I no, I'm used to everybody. Everybody like farts. Like, everybody has a right to fart. Just so you know, bro. <laughs> like, make it silent and, and not violent. Like, but you're farting. My bad habit is interrupting people. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not my bad habit. What bad habit uh, is your was uh, uh, one that you can't stand? <clears throat> oh, of, of other people. Yeah. Oof, I don't know. I guess just being unhygienic is is one that I can't stand. Yeah, right? oh, dude, that's a tough one. Like you don't wash your hands. <laughs> like when I see dudes in the toilet and they don't wash their hands after pissing, I'm like, yo, that's bro, bad habit. That's fucking gross. You've been touch shaking your fucking penis everywhere. Sure. I'm gonna go shake people's hands and touch people's faces and yeah, that I find gross. Um, yeah, no, that's a that's a deep one, bro. The hygiene. Other, other bad habits, I guess. I don't know. People talking in a movie theater or a live performance. Yo, well, let's see the poll, yeah, bro. What is a bad habit? I guess it is a smoking, drinking. <laughs> Picking your nose. Yo, picking your nose is deep, dude. See, I was close. Uh, sleeping around. Uh, being a spam. <laughs> a hoe. <laughs> and cleanliness. That's yours. Hoarding. Your hoarding is bad, guys. Hoarding is hoarding is bad. Hoarding. Even, even greed, bro. Hoarding I also is... don't like liars. That shit pisses me off. If you lie to me, like, in, that's breaking my trust, then it's done, bro. Like, I, I generally can't forgive people who lie. It's like... That is a... Yo, oh, dude, it's I so... don't know why sleeping around is a bad habit. Um, if you obviously probably in the P- the POV of a relationship and you're supposed to be in monogamous. Oh, you mean cheating? Cheating. So they should yeah. replace that. Not sleeping around. I mean, you can, be, nine nine, yes. you can be single and sleep around, and that's yeah. You can live your life. <coughs> also, what's wrong with sleeping? I mean, it's good for you. <laughs> Get a good nap here and there and everywhere. Yeah? I think whoring <laughs> is worse than hoarding. <laughs> <laughs> you should use word the whore, whoring. Uh, I like how they threw corruption in there. I was I was thinking gluttony, <coughs> but, but uh, I was like my perception of gluttony is like people who eat McDonald's for lunch. Is that is that what you think of gluttony? Yeah, like if you were to eat like a McFeast and large chips and two liter Coke, yeah, um, for lunch, <coughs> it should be for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast of fucking <coughs> gluttons. I don't know. I, I think it's more like you've had. You've had a fair portion of food and now you're going for seconds and thirds and you're piling it on. Oh, yeah. thinking, okay, that's gluttonous, bro. Like, Shit, dude. You know? But you know what? Gluttony, greed, and corruption, aren't they all part of the same umbrella? Yeah, they all sleep around with each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, isn't picking your nose with a con- with a glove fine? As long as you wear a glove, it's okay. Really? No, blow yeah. your nose and do that. Thing no, I'm you, kidding. Man. <laughs> when you make the toilet paper a bollocky. And you shove it in your nose. You, no, that's weird. I should do that. You unclog everything. But I mean, you get people who pull their boogers out, roll them in balls and flick them. <laughs> oh, God. Where do you put your boogers? I flick them outside. <laughs> outside. I slide them on, underneath <coughs> the chair or table. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> drinking yeah. and smoking yeah South Africans that's it 
number it's one. Definitely a number, number one. one. But you yeah. remember, you also get good habits too. What are the good habits? Uh, so eating <coughs> healthy, um, that's a good habit. Getting sleep, good habit. Yeah. Um, Kindness. Be, being kind, being mm. honest, being hardworking, diligent. Um, on yeah, honest you said. Honesty. Exercise if you exercise on regular it's, it's a good yeah, habit. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Yeah, hey bro. In movies, uh, this is like all like a flawed character would have all the stuff, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm Someone saying? Someone going through the most, mm-hmm. eh? Ish. Damn it, bro. Imagine you you're a smoker, you drink, you picking your nose, you <laughs> being a spare way, you don't clean your room, you just collect all the shit you have, you're eating pizzas, you don't want to share your money. <laughs> And you're lying about having a and job. And you vote for the NC. And you vote for the NC. <laughs> Yo. I, I actually find them putting corruption there is irritating. I think that's a very South African like media. Bad habit. It's a bad habit to be corrupted. Like <laughs> greed is part of corruption. The reason why people are corrupted is because of true. greed. Yeah. So you don't have to put greed and corruption there. Yeah. yeah corruption is deep because you, you just i think you also do it because you think you can get away with it and you do get away with it most of the time so it's sort of like disrespectful in a way yeah oh, bro, it's like hectic bro. levels of badness and the bad habits yeah yeah i guess man because i'm increasing the palm like where do you draw the line in terms of okay this is habit versus this is a bad habit <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> Uh, when you get stopped by the traffic cops, you know what habit you're gonna lean into, right? And they'll pay like a yeah. I mean, money if you, or if you get caught by the cops for drinking and driving, the, I mean, the, you're the, gonna have to attack two <laughs> habits here. You got drinking and you got corruption. And also, your di- imagine your car's dirty and you drank a lot, so it was latin Imagine <laughs> you, your car's dirty and, <laughs> and you're you're, on, you're coming from your side piece. So I was just about to say, bro, <laughs> your car's dirty and you're on your way, or you're leaving your s- side piece. Because you got like three girlfriends, because that's greedy. And hoard, you're hoarding. <laughs> you're hoarding your hoes. <laughs> hey. You didn't shower that morning. Hey, sis. <laughs> sis, sis, Yo. sis, sis, sis. Yo, bad habits, eh? Yeah, but. Yeah, dude. Yo, <clears throat> bad habits will fuck up your life eventually, eh? You do them more than enough times. Have you ever read that book, uh, Seven Habits of Effective People? Uh, I haven't, uh and the guy released released an eighth a book called Eighth Habit. What was the Eighth Habit now? But he had a whole book just for the Eighth Habit. It's, an, <laughs> it's a sequel. I was like, this guy's got a habit of writing a lot of books. <laughs> you know. Bad habit of just not finishing the story. In yeah, one. to just get to the point. You know. <laughs> so I have to write a book. Just give us. Just give points. us a list, and that's it. But you not give us a whole fucking. <laughs> this could have been a yeah one page document. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, man. Bad habits, bro. Carl yeah, Zeman. He's quite, been on the show quite a few times, eh? Who, Carl Zeman? Yeah, man. Shout out to Carl Zeman. Digital editor. Shout out for shout giving out. us interesting <laughs> stories. <laughs> for doing polls at show. Yeah. And people voted on this thing. Oh, well, we can vote. Let's vote. vote. Let's bro. vote. Me, yeah. it's... Uh, you said picking your nose is gross. I think lying. Lying. Lying, yeah, definitely. Lying. Greed. I don't like greed and gluttony. That's it. Uncleanliness. The rest uh, is fine. The rest you uh, you can work around with, yeah. And corruption. You know. The rest is circumstance, you know. Yeah. South Africa. The rest will small let's, apartments. We'll let it slide. You know, low self esteem. We do these things as well. Bottom. That's why we don't put these as <laughs> yeah. We do all of those. <laughs> We're complicit. Your corruption is highest. Obvious. <laughs> Obvious South Africans. Mm. I'm saying we don't like corruption, <laughs> but meanwhile, the ones who are corrupt are ones <laughs> saying they don't like it. Yeah. Corruption, lying, and cleanliness, smoking. Look how drinking is at the bottom when we know <laughs> South Africa has a drinking problem. Hey! <laughs> Puzzers are puzzering. We're oh. sleeping around. That's not too bad. Yeah, bottom four. These are people who are projecting because their partner cheated. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and like picking your nose is smack bam in the middle or greed and picking your nose yeah interesting greed and picking your nose damn it yeah. you should make corruption a sport in South Africa and speaking of sports <laughs> sex tournament Sweden becomes the first country to make sex a sport oh snap mm-hmm. yo where can we enter yo? <laughs> where can I watch this is there a Premier League 
<laughs> you know, can I play fantasy league on this? Yo, bro, who's the Michael Jordan of this sport? Yo, do you see that thing? Apparently, a week after they announced this, that sex is a sport in Sweden, Zlatan retired from football. Like. <laughs> I found my true calling, guys. He's like, I'm done with soccer. <laughs> I'm going to go score elsewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna play with some other balls. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, is it just heterosexual sex? Is it gay sex? Oh yeah, it's another threesomes, thing. We, we don't know. Orgies. So look at seduction, body massage, exploring or penetration, endurance, physical appearance, pose, execution, Yo. creativity, and position changes, and the number of orgasms within a given time to determine who wins. Yo. So does that mean number of orgasms you give yourself or the other person? <laughs> That's your endurance. Yo, 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 yo. That's a tough one, bruh. Yo. Do you go like one round, two rounds? Is it like. Yeah, that's the thing, bruh. If it's two rounds. Do you get more points for going for rounds? Me, I'm not ch- <laughs> First round, I'm out. <laughs> Group stages. <laughs> You're the Bafana Bafana of six points. <laughs> <laughs> no striker. Bruh, even. you didn't even qualify. Yo, when, when you shoot, you miss the clip, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> you need to win the next game by like four goals. Yeah. Because of goal difference now. You're depending on your goalkeeper, the condom. Shit, but the Bafana Bafana of sex sport, yo. There is that guy, eh? So much promise. Creativity and position changes. That's that's if, important. If you're flexible, yeah. Uh, that's a nice way to like have fun with it. Yeah, I mean, if you read the Kama Sutra. Pose you. execution. Uh, I don't like physical appearance because now... You need to go gym and look good, which is a bit <sighs> unfair because sometimes people who don't look so good are very good at sex. Yeah, man. I guess yeah. Also, with sex, like big bodies can have fun too. Yeah, know? exactly. Doesn't yeah, necessarily to mean add, to that to their advantage sometimes. Yeah, well, bro. So, so just because they what are the the judges looking for? Yeah, bro. Yo, imagine being a judge for this sport, dude. Sure. The ref. You see the ref checking? <laughs> like, Hold on, let me, I'll, I'll give my evaluation after I rub this one out. I need a clear mind. Ooh, okay. Yes, yeah, you. <laughs> that's, that's before the game. It's the toss. <laughs> How do they do the toss, bro? <laughs> they flick a bean. First one that comes. First one that side. <laughs> it's funny. Shit, oh. dude. Hmm. Yeah, let's get this thing to the Olympics, bro. Definitely. This includes other factors such as artistic performance, post-transition, and the capacity to raise blood pressure and heart rate during the competition. Yo, bro. Shit, dude. But that's easy to do. You just bring a pregnancy test. <laughs> raise the fucking heart rate quick fast, bro. Mm. Oh. Yo. Additional categories consist of the most exquisite and difficult position. The most creative communication is determined by a panel and spectators. The pair who exhibit the most activity in art- artistry in the Kama Sutra and popularity among the judges and viewers. Hmm. Wow, bruh. Incorporation of sexual orientation as part of the sporting tactics will be groundbreaking development among European countries. Yes, so porn stars are going to become sports stars. <laughs> Hmm? Are you going to be uh, a TV <coughs> pundit? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not bad. I did be a commentator on the sport. No, watching the highlights, watching it in slow mo. As you can see, yeah. The, the dismount. <laughs> the way he was hitting it from the back. You can see the expression in his face. That meant a lot to him. He's in love. <laughs> yeah, this is taking a Swedish massage to another level. Eh? Also, is, is faking an orgasm cheating? Oh, yeah, shit. Will they give you a red card for that? Yo, offside. Ish. Yo, imagine that. How can they tell, dude? If they're faking it. Some some people are really good at faking. Yeah. The fakeness of the fake, eh? Yo. That's true. Shit, bro. So do we support the couples or the, the country that they're from? How does it work? How does it work? <laughs> Is it an individual thing like Jokic? <laughs> do, they have, do they have coaches on the side? They're cheering them on? Yeah, man. And also, can anybody enter if you're married? Like, <laughs> Is there a drinks break? Yo, tea break. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, sometimes you need a drinks break during sex, though. Yeah? You do. Yeah. You need some water. Just to, <laughs> it's like, let me just get some. Just relax. Spit going that's, when, that's when you know it's good sex, eh? 
when you can take a break, drink some water, what would I think get back into it? Yeah, That's good sex. You're having a good time. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a different flavor. Yeah. 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 yeah anyway, man. so we've we all come out. <laughs> anyway, from sex to more sex. Woodward's essay refuses to back down from supporting Pride Month following backlash online. So as a lot of you are aware, or some of you may not be, it's been Pride Month, but it's been International Pride Month. June is Pride Month, oh, and it's uh, Youth Day. Youth Day so was it's on South Africa, Friday. It's mm-hmm. Youth Day is today, bro. Youth Day was on Friday. <laughs> was on Friday, sorry. Yeah. Was on Friday. Was on Friday, yeah. <laughs> June 16th. But is that's it? the thing. People are getting confused because... This Pride Month is for the international, for the US or whatever. Ah, cool. Our Pride Month, I think, is in October. Oh, why do we have... Like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. I guess why so that's why mm-hmm. I'm not too upset about Woolworths not wanting to do this, you know? Because it, this, it's, not, it's not South African right now. So, no, but the thing is, Woolworths is doing Pride um, marketing, aren't they? Oh, they are. I thought they were be, putting it be down. Being an ally, <coughs> celebrating Pride 2023. Yeah, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, man. But are these even the pride colors? Yeah, they are. Oh, they are, eh? Is that pick there? Oh, yeah, it is there, yeah? Yeah. So why is the back... Th- why are people hitting on wooers? I don't know, dude. I don't know why people are so upset. How does a rainbow upset you so much? Like, it's just rainbow colors, bro. I don't know, bro. Yo, bro. But, like, people are upset because wooers are, are, are doing a pride month. Yeah, there's, a, there's this huge... Like thing on, on on social media I've seen where parents are really upset about this. They like keep this stuff away from their kids. You know, like it's oh, okay. Parents are the ones that are most concerned about it because they're like, look, people are trying to protect their children from this price shit. shit. Damn. Uh, Remember Spur? This game. Welcome to the same crap. People, me included, who boycott the bejesus. I don't know how you boycott the bejesus out of all words. You need bejesus, bro. You need <laughs> <laughs> it's by Jesus. <laughs> Jesus definitely bi- bisexual, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, he was... Uh, he was uh, oh, is it? Did, did he swing both ways? I would say... Uh, On the cross. Was, he, <laughs> one for this side, one for this side. <laughs> I love my house. Um, <laughs> he was a hoarder. He was definitely a hoarder, bro. <laughs> yeah. All these hoes. Yo, dude, imagine when Jesus is on the cross and his nose is itching. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's the least of his problems, bro. Who's going to scratch your nose? Like, how do you get your nose to get scratched if you're mm. hanging on a cross? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Just this. Just this. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> so they call this corporate activism, eh? Is that what it's called? Yeah, but that's what it's called, bro. So it's quite interesting also because I have heard from like gay people directly saying that, and this is lesbians and gay men, like they're saying that this is not what they intended for when they were talking about pride and equality. They just wanted a bit of equality and just to be treated like everybody else. This is now becoming an obnoxious agenda, and that's what they even hate it. Yeah, it's weird to make a. It's weird to always to make a struggle a fashion. Yes. Now you know, like now it's now it's sneakers. Like uh, I guess drip is drip, whatever. But you know, sure, dude. does it, does the message still like uh, have its value? Yeah, now Neapolitan ice cream is going to be cheaper than all that. <laughs> oh wait a minute, it already was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, I know, bruh. Well, I'm still gonna buy Woolworths chicken. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm still gonna buy those. <laughs> I don't fricking, care what the fricadels <laughs> and, and the pancakes, the English muffins, the muffins. They got a good fruit section. Oh, they got good mean. everything, dude. <laughs> they, look, they have a uh, solid. Bro. I bought this mm. carrot cake from um, Woolworths the other day. Oh my god. Yes, it did. I bought a black currant chocolate cake from what was the other day like a black forest yes <laughs> black forest is my favorite cake dude <laughs> Dude, it had three layers every layer and had like a smear of chocolate and cream and cherry like black cherry yeah that's the best cake yo 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 bro shout out bro what i did with my banana was i sliced thick slices and then i put butter on it 
and then I've used the the sandwich press to like toast it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the tea. Can I go? It mm. goes down, bro. Yeah, when you try their products, you actually don't care about their politics, dude. Yeah, also, I mean, guys, why are we expecting these guys to make, like, well, how, did, how does it offend you so badly? Like, if you bring your child into a grocery store, is your child going to get sexually molested by a rainbow rainbow advertising? Like, what, <laughs> what is the fear? If you go to check, check, because you'll get some rainbow chicken. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wonder if Pride like LGBTQ by Rainbow Chicken. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, that chicken is dodgy, bruh. Yo. It loses its like size when you cook it. That's why all the breasts are gone. <laughs> nah. It's just leg pieces here. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, dude. We don't. We shouldn't care what what our grocery store politics is. But yeah, at the man. End of the day. Also, I think it's. I think personally, if I had a kid, and the kid sees this stuff, and the kid starts asking me questions, it's good. You should be able to answer the uncomfortable questions for your kids. That's the whole point of this: is to create awareness. Mm. So, like, if you go with your child, who's like that is the point. You're six, right. Six, seven, and six. Mm. Ask, oh, mommy, mommy, what's LGBTQ? What is? What do they mean by pride? And then you just explain to them. Look, kids. Some people. Different. Like chocolate, some people like strawberry. And they, you know? they should be proud about and it. And there's people mm -hmm. who like both chocolate and strawberry. And so they buy Neapolitan ice cream. So, you know, should be able to explain these things to kids, you know? Yeah, dude. It's not it's not like we explain the multiverse of fucking... Yeah, it's not It's not quantum physics, guys. It's not a Christopher Nolan movie. Dude, <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult. I don't know why people are struggling with this. I think the parents that are angry are, are the parents who don't... Who have a fear that their child will become a homosexual. A lesbianism. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's the biggest fear amongst parents. Not the fact that this stuff is obnoxious in your face, which it is, I'll admit there, but that's not what people are pissed off about. Yeah, I guess it's... They're projecting. Uh, the message is getting sent, which is dope. The, you're right. Like They should be able to have that conversation with their kids, yeah. man. Yeah, but the kids just figure it out for themselves, bro. That's how that's how we figure it out. Yeah, we figure it out as well. Also, kids talk, man. In schools, primary schools, high schools, you talk about these things. They watch one on. season of Euphoria. Ah, they're good, bro. Ex bra. One one HBO one, show. One, one HBO show is done, bro. They know everything about uh, sex and sexualism and. Yeah, or or never have I ever. Have you seen that show? Never have I ever. No, I've never ever have I ever watched. Oh, ever, never have ever. you ever watched that show? It's a good show. So this Indian babe in high school is narrated by uh oh, snap. by what's this guy that's angry tennis player? Uh Wayne Gretzky. No. No, uh, Wayne Gretzky's a uh, isn't that South African? Wayne Gretzky's ice hockey. McEnroe. John McEnroe. John McEnroe. Uh, mm. I'll serve your ass yes. up like John McEnroe. If your girl steps up, I'm smacking a no. hoe. <laughs> Word to your moms. I came to drop bombs. <laughs> uh, snap. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Well, yeah, he was narrating that motherfucker. He narrates that, you know. It's Never, pretty, ever, ever. Yeah, check it out. It's pretty good. Okay. That also talks a lot about... Even that... What's that other one? Sex education. The oh, yes, bro. You see shows like that, dude. Shows uh, like dude. that are enough for you kids. You watch one season, you, you, uh, you're good, bro. Watch one season and you're a poof. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get cancelled for using that word. Yo. A poof. <laughs> uh, stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> what they call it? I think that's a hectic one to call oh, somebody oh, a stubborn. Str what's, a, what's a street strut mate? <coughs> strut mate is more like a whole. Lost strut. lappy. Lost lappy. <laughs> well, how was your youth day, by the way? Because isn't it our, it's our last youth day as youth? That's true, bro. This is the last time I'll ever be youth. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> a few more months and. So your last youth day. As I can actually feel my body telling me like, hey, man. <laughs> it's time buffet to rest. It's no more youth, yeah, <laughs> man. It's no more youth. You can't be entering sex sports. Well, my youth day, I went to I went for a housewarming. A friend of mine bought a house, which is pretty cool. Him that and his wife. That is cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not a youth thing to do. Though. Exactly, that's, that's, that's the hot man things, Brad. Exactly. Maybe I was going to get trashed, or I should have gotten trashed on Friday night. But I can't because I'm not 100% healthy. Oh, yeah. Your immune system be like, yo. Immune you're system like, it's not youth. <laughs> you know, don't play. Don't play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the youth, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, man. So I think we can wrap up the show. Eh? Yeah, any? man. We can cancel. Do you have any other show. rainbow references? Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I picked that chicken, Rambo chicken. But oh, isn't there a Tom Clancy Rainbow chicken. Six? <laughs> the game. <laughs> if you're into pride, I think you suggest you play that game. The Rainbow Nation. The Rainbow Nation. Our our nation is the Pride Nation. We gays. Yeah. So thanks, guys, for <laughs> for tuning into another episode. Episode seventeen, yo. Episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, comment. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us uh, your business, man. Tell us your favorite article. Yeah, tell us what you think. Tell us if you're entering sex sport. If you tell us if you would enter sex sport. How would you, you train for that? Eh? For sex sport, <laughs> porn. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, I've been ready all my life. <laughs> Put me in, coach. Put me in. Uh, imagine they do that slapping game. Do you know like the slapping sport? Yeah. Where they do it with like pussies. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's wild that shit uh, right. yeah and uh, check your bad habits man this check is, uh, your bad habits don't f- yeah, yeah. if one of your bad habits is not accepting that other rugby teams are better than your son's rugby team then you gotta you know go check yourself you know also uh, speak to your family don't fake your death to, just to fucking speak yeah, to them Jesus bro like, that's a terrible this, habit this could have been a dinner at Spur yeah and yeah man uh and if you're gonna go buy groceries, who cares if there's rainbows around? <laughs> and you know, if there's there any should be rainbows on your plate, you know. <laughs> and no more na- natural disasters because yeah, the country's already a state of disaster, so we don't need those things. Yeah, they blame the miners. Barikara, <laughs> <laughs> we'll shoot them. <laughs> Yo, episode seven, we out. Peace. Peace.